it's not very often I would have my hair up but it's very hot here today it's nearly 30 degrees and it's warm in the bus so I'm gonna take the dog out for a run and we're going to have a bit of fun down at the golf range and then we can uh, chat there I think that'd be nicer not maybe so smooth but nice fun hi it's Tan here from Drawful Giants today we're going to be talking about my updates while we're going to take the lovely golf cart out to the golf course for a blat. Come and join me. I'm in a little town called Takapau in Central Hawke's Bay and a town of 400 with a golf course. And Jake here is eager that I do not stop for anything. I've just entered my fifth month in weight loss. And I have some things to share because I haven't shared properly in the last week and a half. And I must say I do really enjoy golf carts. And this is how we run the dog. Alright, I'm going to turn. Jakey's dad's been in Thailand for a few weeks, so I'm looking after him for him. Um, yes, yeah, so my weight. Um, we have some exciting news and some not so exciting news, I don't think. Mm. Last month I had a 72 hour fast and a couple of 48 hour fasts. Um, I think that it didn't do me a good service. Um, I have have this inner sense of uh, competition going on and with myself <laughs> and I'm noticing that I you know like you want to be you want to have these results yesterday um, and although I didn't sort of climb into the diet fad that a lot of us can get into I have tried in the past a couple of things as I've mentioned in a previous video you know Weight Watchers and whatnot other than embracing like a, a lifestyle choice like I've the biggest change that I made in my life that actually had more of a long-term effect was embracing um, a plant-based lifestyle through learning about um, the program through CHIP which is Coronary Health Improvement Program which I heartily love and would support and um, it's just amazing of changing your lifestyle um, and this is this intermittent fasting is the next step for me uh, for me personally, this works for personally for me. So last month, um, I've basically not lost anything. Um, I th I've fluctuated and I really couldn't tell you how much weight I lost because uh, I can't have my scale, my, my scales really aren't working while I'm living in my bus. Um, I can't store them flat. I have to actually now rethink that situation and, and because uh, my father helped me weigh in this one. Dad, we need we need to get me weighed in. I need to know what's going on. And it, my literally, it fluctuated from seventy two kilos up to one hundred and six kilos. And I'm like, oh stars, I'm not. I'm just gonna flag it. So I I I've been. I think I've been hovering in in some sort of weight area, in a similar weight area for like over a week, or even longer. Um, however, I do and have lost like body mass so um, uh, being being the time of month that it is time to measure myself I have that to share with you so that's really cool I have lost weight I have lost I have lost body mass not by a lot but you know a loss is a loss and we're gonna celebrate every one of them let's move to the next spot before the young boy here so measurements, okay, so um, it's interesting not being able to weigh, weigh in because that means I can't get fixated on um, that competition aspect with myself about how many, you know, kilograms, grams I'm losing on a daily or and weekly basis. So um, although I didn't succumb to measuring myself, I was grateful that I could because I have those results. And so, um, I've, uh, and it's not as much as it was last month, but you know, every downward 
scale every downward number that I have I'm absolutely thrilled with bugs wet dog oh fun oh you're darling um yeah so I've lost a, a centimeter actually I have my details here so let me just tell you what I am when I started out in um the, when I first measured myself on the 12th of October in 2017 my neck was 41 centimeters um round diameter whatever 41 centimeters um, and now it's 39 so there's a couple of centimeters off there um, my chest was 134.5 centimeters and now it's 127 centimeters um, my waist was has gone from 136 centimeters and now I'm 132 centimeters my hips originally were uh, 136.5 and I'm now 134 centimeters um, my arms were 43 centimeters and now they're 37 centimeters. My thighs were 63.5 centimeters, now they're 58 centimeters. And my calves went from 43 centimeters to 40 centimeters as they are right now. So, uh, and I feel, I feel smaller, um, which is really fun. So yay me, yay me. Flip is working. It's wonderful. We have another dog joining us. This is Dixie. Um, I usually come down to the golf course with my neighbour um, when he finishes work, and he's driving around in front of me somewhere, and his dog <laughs> has found me. <laughs> I told him I'm making videos today, so I really don't want to be disturbed. Yeah, anyway, Dixie's now with us and his dad's going to be barking out for him shortly. Alright, so so what I've concluded to, and remember I'm not a professional at this, I'm just trying to get my life sorted for me. Um, I like fasting, it works beautifully for me, but I'm sort of seeing that this last month as um, an experiment of, you know, should I be doing some longer fasts? I don't... <laughs> Can you hear the heavy breathing? Yeah, lots of dogs. I mean, honestly, we are here so they can run, but no, they want to stay with me. Mm. I am the dog whisperer. So, um, so yeah, the month, this month, it's been. I, I've kind of concluded that perhaps uh, extended fasting really isn't going to serve me and what will serve me is slow and steady w wins the race one meal a day I have no problem waiting 24 hours to eat uh, no hunger pangs nothing um, nine times out of ten you know it's 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 like some days are different but it's that's just how it goes and things are slowly and surely coming down the scales coming down you know it's, it's it still wows me five months in okay so I'm just hitting I'm uh, I think it's the eighth and today's the fifth um, coming into my fifth month um, so it's a little bit there it, I am a little bit disappointed that there's been no weight decrease um, but I have fluctuated and on my scales are just I'm not gonna weigh myself again officially until I go to my next house sit and um, and in the meantime, I'll keep my scales flat and and you know yeah. Anyway, so yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna go and do something else. Do some more running. I want to be louder than him, but I think I'll be polite and let him talk first. So I had a milestone this week that was a really big deal in our family. Um, this top here that I've worn in my last couple of, you know, before and after pictures um, is now just feeling too big on me. And so, um, and I noticed that the other day because I put it on to go to church and I popped into mum and dad's rig and asked to see, you know, the long mirror and uh, check myself out. And uh, I'm thinking, oh my word, it's 
like a tent on me and it just feels really baggy now um, a piece of advice I was given by my friend Sally uh, a few a number of years ago um, was the fact that she like my friend Sal she is such a beautiful woman and so classy um, and she always dresses immaculately and just just like a, a beautiful woman and in comparison I'm very casual very very casual I'm always in jeans and everything and and uh, you know a lot more um, I guess low, ma low maintenance I don't know a lot more casual and she said you know Tan you know when people meet you they they see that you're um, um, a bigger girl and she didn't say that to hurt my feelings because she's also a bigger girl but she said you know but people already know that you are because this is this is how you look and so stop wearing clothes that are baggy on you you know you can afford to be more figure hugging in some of your items that you wear and it was just gave me a bit of a, a permission to oh I can do that you know I'm not hiding anything um, people already see who I am and so I took that on so when I'm putting this top on I'm thinking of self because the top was really baggy anyway so I gave it to my mum I said mum let this be uh, something that you could perhaps work yourself down into wearing because my mum's been omading with me for about two months now and since Christmas and um, we're just at the beginning of March at this video and uh, she's lost 10 kilos just amazing she's just feeling really great so anyway for a laugh she tried it on and it fits her beautifully <laughs> and we've never been able to give clothes to each other um, at all in all of our lives and so I was rummaging through my bags and go right what have I got what are, what is now getting too big for me so I gave her a couple of pairs of um, I gave her a pair of pants and a couple of tops and she just fitted them so beautifully and um, we're just so excited and I said to her mum what do you how do you feel and she said I don't know I feel numb she, and you know like it hasn't really sunk in so as we were playing with it because it was so fun and so she started going through some of her wardrobe items that she really had been you know hanging on to um to fix and as she tried them on they were just swum on her because she's lost weight in her body and um you know body size then she said to me oh i don't want to get rid of them because just in case you know i might gain weight again and i just stopped and realized what she was saying and saying mum mum do you recognize your stinking thinking you know this is a way of life you know, this, this way of eating is a way of life. Now, you could put more weight on again, but you're eating one meal a day and you're totally okay with that. And if you go and eat three meals a day, you're going to feel awful. And she said, yeah, you're right. And I said, so this is something that's going to stick around. It's a lifestyle now. And she's like, yeah. It's like we have these mechanical, natural thinking in our head that we've always played over and over. Must keep my fat pants just in case I gain weight again because you know her experiences as, as um, in the past is, has been like majority of us we we've lost a few stone we've lost a few kilos and then we put it on plus so that's been mum's case as well um, so but she but we saw the emotional like oh how hard it is to get rid of things so we talked her through that and and so she's got uh, three pairs of pants and um, a top that she's totally getting rid of and then we'll go through the rest of her wardrobe when she's you know emotionally ready when you keep trying clothes on for a long time in the morning you know a few hours of like try this look at this it's exhausting <laughs> and then with the emotional stuff of actually going through your wardrobe and going this works this doesn't work and I like I'm still emotionally attached to this piece of item and I'm thinking I got this sorted I know and she said oh you'll be so good to help me but you'll be really hard on me <laughs> it's like you don't need that pants they look too baggy on you I'm so excited Jake is too Jake and I we're just so excited for mum and thrilled for me because I've now gotten rid of some items in my bags and we're going shopping this week just to get a couple of um, in-between items um, I need another pair of pants and um, and you know like bras starting to get loose and yeah wonderful stuff <coughs> Driving with 
with one hand. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of fun. So that's my update for the last couple of weeks. Um, not being overly uh, productive weight-wise, but I'm still on the I'm still on the plan, you know. I'm really enjoying it. Ooh, just about hit the dog. Um, really enjoying it. It's doing wonders for me. Um, I'm still committed. Uh, I don't think I'll do a lot of weighing in this month. Um, we'll just do measurements, or maybe not even. I think I'll just stick to one a day. And it's, I think it might help me just to be not so obsessive, obsessive with weighing myself. But, um, and of course I still feel, you know, round. But I, I think it's changing. Like I'm feeling different in my body and I'm in myself. I would not normally have my hair up. Um, when I'm on film but I mean today's been a really hot day and I'm looking at myself you know in the video and I'm thinking oh no, you're pretty you're quite pretty and um, <laughs> how often do you hear that oh is this so pretty <laughs> but no just like I feel attractive and I, I um I'm looking like even my even like I haven't seen like I'm gonna edit this when I get back to the van but mum took some pictures of me, so I'm really, you know, like I'm, the process is happening and I'm going to put the, the first picture versus this picture. Um, and yeah, anyway, you'll get to see it and that'll be fun. All right, we're moving on, pup. Ooh. So it's been fun to have you along for this little ride. This is what we do. Jake and I do this every day at four o'clock-ish. And now it's like six because we've just been pottering. And I'm taking him home and I'm going to edit. So this is Tania from Draw Full of Giants. And I hope you have a really good week. I would love that you get back to me and let me know how it is going for you. And yeah. Alright guys, you take care. Until next week, have a good one. See ya.